the man who rose fell and rose again, Hajidati. In Hajime no Epo, Date's story isn't just about boxing, but perseverance, redemption, and legacy. His story is an inspiration to us all, but without further ado, let's dive deep into the life of one of the most seasoned characters in the series. You know what? This is the perfect time to take a break. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, enjoy. Hejidati's story begins with an intense rise to the top. He quickly became the Japanese featherweight champion, showing his brilliance in the ring. He was known for his impeccable technique as well as also his sheer willpower. But like many boxers, Date had his eyes on the world and to become the world champion. And that was where he came face to face with his ultimate challenge, the newly crowned undefeated king Ricardo Martinez, the reigning WBC, WBA featherweight champion. Also shameless plug, we got a Ricardo video, you should definitely check it out, you will love it. Not every challenge can be conquered on the first try, and after the two-round humiliating affair in Mexico, Ricardo outclassed Date, delivering a crushing blow, a crushing defeat that not only broke his nose but also his spirit. This was a loss more than just physical, but it shattered his dreams. To make matters worse, Date returned home to learn that his wife has suffered a miscarriage during his absence. Crushing weight of his personal and professional losses, Date stepped away from the boxing ring. For a man like Ejidate, giving up on his passion wasn't an option. Years after his retirement, the call to come back to the ring beckoned once more. Despite finding success in the business world, the dream of being champion never truly left him. With his wife's encouragement, or coercion, depends on how you see it, and a renewed sense of purpose, Date made a comeback. In his second act, Ejidate reclaimed the Japanese featherweight title, becoming a force to be reckoned with once again. His fights were marked with by experience and strategy, showcasing his ability to outthink and outmaneuver his opponents. Clearly Flecked, an experienced veteran that knows the taste of defeat. This was mostly visible to us, the audience, with his famous victory against the rising undefeated heavy-hitting rookie. For me, this was one of the best fights in the anime, as from the viewer's point of view, we saw Epo grow as a fighter and overcome many obstacles to stand where he was standing, challenging a legend of the sport in Ejidate. But what unfolded in that battle, none of us would have ever expected. For four rounds, Epo was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the champion, but in the fifth round after taking liver blow, gazelle punches, Date landed a heartbreak shot on Epo. Just as Date was about to land another one, Epo was frozen, the referee stopped the match as Komogawa had thrown the towel into the ring while Epo fell down, resulting in Date winning in in the process handing Epo his first professional career loss. Date was thankful to Epo for recovering his past feelings. As they shook hands, Date relinquished the title belt after that match. With his legacy secured in Japan, there was one more challenge Date needed to face, a man that defeated him seven years ago that still reigns supreme in the WBC. The man that was none other than the Mexican sun god, Ricardo Martinez. And now, seven years after their first fight, Date stood once again before that man who had taken everything away from him. This time, Date was not just fighting for the title. Brother was fighting for his family, his legacy, and the closure that he desperately sought. The rematch was grueling, with Date pushing Ricardo in the early rounds, but Ricardo's sure dominance eventually broke through. By the 10th round, after receiving broken jaw, broken ribs, and more, Ricardo closed the curtain on this great samurai's career. <laughs> Though he lost the rematch, Ejidati's legacy was solidified. He had proven to himself and the world that he could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the very best, the pinnacle of the featherweight division, Ricardo Martinez. After the fight, Date retired for the second time, and this time as a man at peace with his career. Not going back to the office desk job, but staying in the world of boxing to mentor and coach the future generations. 
Mac Mach. As you die story isn't just about boxing, but about redemption, fatherhood, and the relentless pursuit of one's dreams. He embodies what it means to fall, rise, and keep on moving forward. Even after retirement, his influence on the sport and on the fighters like Ippo continues to this day. To this day! To this day! Yeah. But yeah, that brings us to the end of this Ejidachi character analysis. Hope you liked the story and story of Dati Sat, a true veteran of the sport. What are your thoughts on his journey and what do you think of him as a character and who do you want to see us cover next? Do you have any characters that you think or topics that you think you want to see us cover? Let us know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Thumbs out.